Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. Today's video lesson is going to be on writing an equation given two points using the slope intercept form. All right. Now let's suppose that you're given two points and you're asked to write the equation of the line that passes through them. So imagine these two points on a graph and there's a line going through them and you have to write that equation. The first thing that you have to do is find the slope of the line. And if you're not sure how to find the slope of the line, there is a previous lesson on that, but I'm going to go through it real quick for you. So here's our slope formula. Those are our two points. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the y's in a backwards fashion, 16 minus 10, and subtract the x's in a backwards fashion, 6 minus 4, and this is what we get. We simplify that 6 over 2, which equals 3. So we found our slope. The slope is 3. All right. Now, you have the slope. What we're going to do now is we're going to use the slope intercept form. Okay. Now, y equals mx plus b is the generic form of the slope intercept form. And so if you probably recall the m is the slope and the b is the y-intercept. So we have to find the m and the b in order to complete this equation. Now we already have the m. We have the slope. We found it. It was 3. And so we're going to put 3 in the place of m. So now we have y equals 3x plus b. We have to find that b. And so here's what you're going to do. You're going to take either one of the points and substitute them in for the x and y in for this. And so look what I did here. I used the first one, 4, 10. I put 4 in for the x, 10 in for the y, and now I'm going to simplify and solve for b. So I got 10 equals 12 plus b, and b equals negative 2. Now we found our b. So we take that and we put it back up into that equation that's missing the b, and we have our equation y equals 3x minus 2. That was easy, right? Well, let's try another example. Suppose you have negative 1 and 7 and 2 and negative 5. Again, first you have to find the slope, so we're going to do that really quick. So we take our y's and we subtract them, y2 minus y1, and then uh, x2 minus x1, and so that's what we get down below, and we simplify that. We get negative 12 over 3, which simplifies to negative 4. All right, so we got our slope. It's negative 4. Now we go on to the next step. We have to solve for the b. Remember, we use the generic form y equals mx plus b. We know what our slope is, right? It's negative 4. And so we put that negative 4 in for m, and now all we have to do is find the b. We're halfway done. So we take one of the points uh, in our example, and I use negative 1 and 7, and I put them in for the x and the y. And now I'm going to solve for b. I simplify, and my b equals 3. Therefore, I move that 3 up into the b in that empty equation there, and I now have my equation. All right, now, there are some, I'm going to give you some helpful tips for when you're doing this, because although this method works on any two points, there are some tricky questions that come up. Okay, now the first tip I'm going to give you is sometimes when you're doing this electronically, you're given a format that looks like this. You have to put in the number into the empty box. Okay, so let's suppose that my slope is negative 2. So that's real easy. I put negative 2 in for that box, and I got negative 2x. Now let's say my slope, or my y-intercept, is negative 7. Okay, now be careful on this one, because the minus is already there. And so you don't put negative 7 in the box. You just put 7 because it's the negative is already given for you. 
And so I don't want you to fall into that trap and have to do a problem over again because you forgot about that. Okay, now this next tip, let's say you have these two points. Now, do you notice anything special about one of these points? Well, this one right here is a special point. It's 0, 013. And this happens to be the y-intercept. Anytime the zero, or the x is 0, you have the y-intercept. So 13 is the b. So all you need to do is find the slope for this one. You're already halfway done. You did that long process with the uh, slope-intercept form. So you just find the slope and then plug in that 13 for the b. All right, now here's the last tip that I'm going to give you. You might get uh, two points that look like this. And if you notice anything peculiar about these, is that both of the y's are the same number. Now, when you go and try to find the um, the slope, you're going to find out that you get 0, because 6 minus 6 is 0. And this, these two points, they create a line that's horizontal. There is no slope. There's 0x. So, since it's a horizontal line and the slope is 0, then this is how we write our equation, y equals 6. You don't have to put 0x in there, because there aren't any. Okay? It doesn't matter what the x is, the y will always be 6. All right, and there you have it. Writing an equation from two points using the slope-intercept form. Now, if you didn't quite get this, I encourage you to, uh, to go back and re-watch it, maybe pause in certain parts of the video and really look at, at what we did here, um, and I think you'll get it. This is a surefire way to... Um, to get your equation from two points. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.